Gonzaga has time to do something. Socks for the win. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm redoing my predictions from yesterday. I got the Zags. I got Kentucky. I got Arizona. And I got Kansas in the final four. I've got Gonzaga facing Arizona for an all-Western team final with the Zags winning the whole thing. Let's go, Zags. The uh, biggest upset in the NCAA tournament this year is going to come out of the Midwest bracket. That's going to be your number 13 seed. The Jackrabbits from, uh, from South Dakota State are going to beat Providence. Okay, that's a 13 beating a 4. All right, and then your overall winner of this year's NCAA tournament for the first time since 1997 is going to be the Arizona Wildcats. All right, so I'll give you my final four. It's pretty chalk, but here's my rationale. I like Duke. Coach K, last run, players going to be motivated. I like that. Kentucky Wildcats, why not? I was just in Kentucky. Arizona, why? I own an Arizona jersey. Mike Bibby, Coach Chap, you know who I'm talking about. And lastly, the Wisconsin Badgers, because my Steelers, the Watt brothers, you got to go with the Badgers, even though the Watts play football. But hey, why not go Badgers? The champion that I'm picking for this year's March Madness bracket is the University of Kentucky. Oscar Sheway, best player in the land, probably is going to be the number one pick. you got to go with talent in March. Uh, biggest upset I'm taking is going to be the 13 versus 4. I'm taking Vermont over Arkansas. Vermont in their last 23 games is 22 and 1. They steamrolled their conference tournament. They're playing fantastic and I think they're going to take down the Razorbacks. Okay, this year's biggest upset is Richmond over Iowa in the first round and my winner is Providence. Right, my final four is Texas Tech and Virginia Tech and Kansas and Tennessee and my biggest upset would probably be South Dakota over Providence. The Jack. So I based my bracket off of the most attractive teams and I think Kentucky's gonna win.